Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how I blow out my hair. Um, I'm definitely on a healthy hair journey right now. It's come a long way. I went from like jet blue black to this. So it's definitely um, taken a toll on the integrity of my hair. So we're going to do a healthy blowout today. It's super easy. I'm honestly pretty lazy with my hair, so I always try to find like easy techniques and easy ways to kind of blow it out and make it look nice. So, I hope this video is helpful and here we go. Blow out, darling. <clears throat> Testing. Okay, perfect. All right, <laughs> we are shampooed, conditioned, olaplexed, and we are ready to just dive right in, y'all. Come on, let's do this. Heat protectant. It is essential you always want to put heat protectant in your hair before you put any heat on it um, just so it protects it from the heat I don't know why but it's always hard for me to find that part I do even on my clients I'm like okay this is the hardest part of my job right here is finding, is finding your part let me, let me figure this out, I'll be right back. All right, so we are nice and brushed out. And now we will just start blow drying. I mean, simple as that. I use the Babyless Pro um, Rapido. Um, it apparently has the engine of a Ferrari. So, vroom vroom. And I will say a lot of people when they get blow dryers for some reason, a lot of my clients tell me like, oh, I just throw that uh, diffuser thing away because they just don't think that they need it. But this right here um, is what smooths your hair and also gives it that extra protection from the heat. So don't throw this away. Always use it. I personally start in the front just because I feel like the front part of your hair is the money piece. It's it's where you get your most action so as you can see I am starting out in the face framing area for me I like to do that because I tend to frizz in that area um, so if I don't start in that area it'll start to frizz up and it'll just be harder to smooth out so I just go ahead and start smoothing that section out moving my round brush upward and forward and I'm literally just scooping the pieces around my face and using my pinky finger to separate um, and section off the hair um, so yeah I just do it a few times however many times it takes to kind of um, get it nice and smooth and um, the shape that I want also using a good brush is very important I use the nanothermic three and a half inch barrel brush and I love this brush I've been using it for years it's my favorite blowout brush I use it on my clients uh, I love it love it love it and I also have a two inch that I use for like my front section that I'll show you later Alright, so once the face framing pieces are relatively smooth, I will go ahead and start on the sides of my hair and just basically the same thing, scooping it and literally picking it up with my round brush. Um, super easy, just getting it really dry and then focusing on um, that twisting motion of doing that with the round brush that is going to be like what gets it smooth and creates that shape so that's a little bit of practice kind of moving your hands and your fingers with the brush um, but super easy once you get it down Once the sides are mainly dry and smoothed, I go into the top section and you can see I am just brushing 
the top section forward and then scooping it up with my round brush and drying it upward to create just a little bit of lift and then you'll see me do a twisting motion with the round brush that's creating kind of like a bend or a curl it's a little tricky at first um, but basically you just take the hair that's in the round brush and as you're twisting it you're kind of unwinding it at the same time um, if that makes sense it does take a few times to learn um, but once you get it it's super easy and super effective And now I am just wrapping it up and power drying my whole head to make sure it is all completely dry and this is also kind of creating a little bit more body too. Feels good. There is nothing like a good blowout. That's for sure. So usually my i don't know why but this side always kind of does differently than that side even though i try to do them the same exact way um so if you have a smaller round brush um you can go in and kind of just like focus on the little pieces around your face because this one it always wants to like i think it's because of my cowlick i'm gonna i'm gonna blame it on my cowlick So here it is, the finished product. How do you like it? <laughs> I love a middle part, um, or even like an off center, but usually at the end of the day, my hair always ends up like this. I always end up just pushing it over here. It's, I don't know why, it's always been my security blanket to have my hair swooshed over like this. But we will rock this as long as we can. Oh, and I usually put a little bit more of um, smoothing serum afterwards just because my hair is a little more prone to uh, frizz. So I just kind of rub it on in there just to kind of smooth it and give it that shine. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned some tips and tricks, and I encourage you to practice blowing your hair out because it's a lot of fun, and once you do it, it becomes really easy, and that literally only just took me 10 minutes. So once you learn, like, get comfortable with, like, the hand motions and using your fingers to part your hair and separate, um, it gets really easy, and it's so worth it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Um, some of you might know I am also a singer-songwriter, so I will be alternating um, little hair videos and singing videos. So if you have any requests on hair tips and tricks or whatever else, um, or even songs that you would like me to sing, please let me know and I will be happy to make that happen for you.